And Miss Talbert is our instructional coach here at Sand Hill Elementary. And Miss Day is a teacher at Villarica High School as well as the Purple Pearl sponsor. I'm Troy Ann Parham, the assistant principal. At this time, we're going to introduce, let the students introduce themselves that are participating in the spelling bee this year. We will start with number one. Would you step up to the mic for us? Zane Johnson. Alexis Cook. Okay, I don't think the mic is on, so we're going to turn that on real quick. I am attached. Okay, thank you. Okay. So students, as you step up, um, if you will speak really loud and clear so that I can hear you, okay? All right, so let's go again. Number one. Zane Johnson. Alexis Cook. Connor Williams. Mason Ponder. Giselle Marlin Grandis Caceres. Taylor Ernest. Kylie Miller. Osley Dupree. Michael Lowry. Okay. At this time, I'm going to go over our um, spelling bee rules, okay? So just take a deep breath, relax. You've got this. To begin with, if one speller in a round spells correctly, that speller will be declared a finalist. All spellers eliminated in that round will resume spelling in their original order until only one spells correctly. That speller will be declared the other finalist. If all spellers are eliminated in a round, those spellers will be reinstated and resume spelling in their original order until the two finalists have been determined. Spellers shall pronounce the word both before and after spelling it. However, no speller will be eliminated for failing to pronounce a word, failure to, cap to capitalize a word, or recognize um, markings will not, will not be penalized. When a speller fails to spell a word correctly, he or she must step out of the B and a new word shall be give, given to the next speller. After having started a, to spell a word, the speller shall not be given any opportunity to change the letters once pronounced. The speller may retrace the letters of the word from the beginning only, provided no letters or their sequence are changed from those first pronounced. If letters and or their sequence are changed in the respelling, then the speller shall be eliminated. The speller may ask the caller to say the word again, define it, or use it in a sentence. If no definition of a homonym is provided by the caller, the correct spelling of either word shall be accepted. When a definition or sentence is given, the speller must spell the word correct. The judges will determine if the word was spelled correctly and if incorrect will provide the correct spelling. Any question related to the procedures of the spelling bee, I'm sorry, any question relating to the, the procedures or the spelling of a word should be referred to the judges immediately. The deadline for making an objection is before the affected speller would have received his or her next word had he or she stayed in the B. 
No objection shall be entertained after the B is terminated. When a round results in only two spellers who have, spelled, who have correctly spelled their words, they will be declared the finalist. This is important. When one finalist misses a word, the other finalist will spell the next word on the caller's list. If the contestant spells that word and the next word on the list correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If he or she misspells either of those two words, the other finalist will be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. If that finalist spells the next word and the next correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If both finalists misspell their word, both shall continue in the B, and the one who first misspelled his or her word shall be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. That was a lot. So when that time comes, we'll work through it together, okay? Just know that in order to win, you have to be able to spell two words correctly back to back, okay? Are there any questions about those rules? Okay. All right. Let's do a practice round first. You ready? Okay. So, Zane, we'll start with you. So, if you'll step up to the mic. Your word is bus. Bus, B-U-S. Okay. Number two. Your word is fit. F-I-T. Okay. Remember to pull your mes mask down and to speak really loud so we can hear you, okay? Fit. Fit, F-I-T. Very good. Okay. Number three. Your word is job. Job. J-O-B. Okay. Number four. Your word is tree. T-R-E-E. -E. Very good. Okay. Number five. Your word is room. Room. R-O-O-M. Okay. Number six. Your word is case. Case. C-A-S-E. Okay. Number seven. Your word is spa. S-P-Y. Okay. Number eight. Your word is lost. Lost. L-O-S-T. Lost. Number nine. Your word is need. Need. N-E-E-D. And number ten. Your word is rang. Rang. R-A-N-G. Yes. Don't forget, if you're unsure of a word, you can ask for the definition. You can ask for it to be used in a sentence. Okay? Or you can ask me to repeat the word by saying, will you repeat the word? Okay? If you're unsure. So just remember that you can do that. Okay? As we um, get started and you get eliminated and you're moving around, I won't call numbers after that. I will just say next and you'll come up to the mic. Okay? All right. Are we ready to get started? Thumbs up if you're ready. All right, here we go. All right, Mr. Zane. Your word is rich. Rich, R-I-C-H. Okay. Next. Alexis, your word is dome. Dome, D-O-M-E. Yes, that is correct. Connor? Your word is cake. Cake. C-A-K-E. Mason? Your word is sting. 
S T I N G, sting. Sam? Okay. Your word is dusk. Dusk, D U S K. Taylor? Your word is grew. Greta's grandmother grew up on the banks of the Mississippi River. G R E W. Mr. Miller? No, you're fine. If you'll have a seat on the end there, we're at word number seven. Holly, are you ready? Your word is fine. Can you use that sentence? Sure. Bennett's grandfather declared him to be a fine musician after hearing him play the piano. F-I-N-E, fine. Yes. Wesley, your word is boom. Can you use that sentence, please? Sure. Every time the thunder made a loud boom, Harvey's dog ran behind the couch to hide. B O O M. Yes. Micah, your word is wave. 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 W A V E. Very good. Dev, your word is trunk. Trunk. T R U N K. Trunk. That is correct. Okay. That's the end of the first round. Now on to the second round. Good job. Okay, Zach. Your word is sleepy. Sleepy. S L E E P Y. That is correct. Alexis. Your word is jumping. Jumping, J-U-M-P-I-N-G. That is correct. Connor, your word is shade. Can you use the messages? Sure can. The shade under the huge beech tree felt cool and delicious. S-H-A-D-E. That is correct. Mason, your word is scorch. Scorch. S-C-O-R-C-H. That is correct. Giselle, your word is motor. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. The clouds of smoke coming from under the hood indicated that the motor was probably overheating. Motor. M-O-T-O-R. That is correct. Taylor, your word is nimble. Nimble. N-I-M-B-L-E. Nimble. That is correct. Okay, Kylie, your word is ahoy. H or no A H O W or Y. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is A H O Y. You started with H. Okay, thank you. So we will we'll move down, Taylor. Okay. Wesley, your word is piper. Can you use that in a sentence, please? I sure will. The coming of the king's procession was announced by a drummer and a piper. Piper. P I P E R. That is correct. Is 
it's your turn. Micah, it's your turn. I'm going to skip the next word. Okay. Micah, your word is sprint. Sprint. <clears throat> S-P-R-I-N-T. That is correct. Deb, your word is bowl. Would you put it in the sentence? Sure will. Aunt Elsa always scooped tiny servings of ice cream into a teacup rather than a bowl. Bowl. B-O-W-L. That is correct. Okay. Zane, before you come up, that the way they were asking to move did get messed up. So, Deb, if you'll go back where you were. Micah, will you go back where you were? No, you're okay. You're you're okay. I, I know that's we're not gonna move the seats like we had thought we were because so we don't get messed up. Okay. All right. Um Zane. The word is sweat. Sweat. S W E A T. That is correct. Okay. Alexis. Is sleek. Can you use the Sure. Hannah dreamed that she would get that sleek bike in the store for her birthday. Sleek, S-L-E-A-K. That is incorrect. The correct spelling, Alexis, is S-L-E-E-K. Okay. Connor, your word is bottle. Can you use the sentence? Sure. After 10 minutes of shaking it, Kayla was finally ready to open her bottle of soda. Bottle, B-O-T-T-L-E. That is correct. Mike Mason? Your word is smart. Smart. S-M-A-R-T. Smart. That is correct. No, mm -mm. you just stay where you are. Okay. Giselle, your word is stared. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. John stared at the painting until he saw the hidden clue. Stared, S-T-A-R-E-D. That is correct. Taylor, your word is plopped. Can you use this please? Sure. The family plopped down on the sofa together to watch a movie. P L O P P E D. Plopped. That is correct. Wesley, your word is darted. Can you say this? Sure. The bluegills darted away when Tennell started to get too close. Darted. D A R T E D. Darted. That is correct. Micah, your word is angry. Can you believe it in the sentence? Sure. Martin decided to keep poking his brother until he got really angry. Angry. A N G R Y. That is correct. Deb, your word is little. Little. L I T T L E. That is correct. Okay. Now to round three. Okay, Zane, your word is summer. Summer, S-U-M-M-E-R. That is correct. Connor, the word is carefully. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. Jamal carefully poured the same amount of batter into each one of the tins. Carefully, C-A-R-E. 
F U L L Y. That is correct. Mason, your word is insisted. Insisted. Can you can you please use it in a sentence? Sure. Sammy insisted that he wasn't the one who had released the parrot into the classroom. I N S I S T E D. That is correct. Okay, Giselle, your word is sizzle. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. Omar knew the meat was ready to flip when it started to sizzle in a particular way. Sizzle. S-I-Z-Z-L-E. That is correct. Taylor, your word is hatchling. Can you use it in a sure. When he saw that it had fallen out of its nest, Eli decided to raise the hatchling himself. Hatchling. H-A-T-C-H-L-I-N-G. That is correct. Wesley, the word is slither. To walk or move in a sinuous, undiluting undilu way to glide. For his role as K in his school's production of the Jungle Book, Randall had, had to figure out how to slither across the stage. S-L-I-T-H. That is correct. Micah, your word is epic. Epic. <clears throat> E-P-I-C. That is correct. Deb, your word is close. Close. C-L-O-S-E. Close. That is correct. Okay. Um, Zane, and we are on to round four. Five? Oh, my bad. Oh, my goodness, you guys are doing amazing. Okay. I'm going to skip the next word. Zane, your word is swirled. Swirled. S W I R L E D. That is correct. Okay. Connor? Your word is amount. Can you please use it in a sentence? Sure. When the bill came for the food, Melissa could not believe the amount. Amount. A M O U N T. That is correct. Mason, your word is worse. W O R S E worse. I, I just I didn't hear the last letter. He did. Okay, that is correct. Okay, Giselle, your word is sandwich. S A N D W I T C H. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is S-A-N-D-W-I-C-H. Taylor, your word is gleaming. Gleaming. G-L-E-A-M-I-N-G. -E that is correct. Wesley, your word is vital. Sure. When the metal lid popped off of their machine, Emily nervously asked her partner if that was a vital part. Okay. 
of the utmost importance, essential to the continued existence, vigor, efficiency, independence, or value of something expressed or Im implied. That is correct. Okay. I'm going to skip the next word. Micah, your word is picture. Can you put it in a sentence? Sure. Once Beth saw the picture of a little shelter cat, she knew that she would take it home. P, picture. P, I, C, T, U, R. That is correct. Okay, Deb, the word is sheen. Could you use it in a sentence? Yes. It took two layers of wax for Emily's uncle to get the desired sheen on his car. Sheen. S-H-E-E-N. That is correct. Round six. Zane, your word is prepare. Prepare. P-R-E-P-A-R-E. -E. That is correct. Connor, your word is percent. Percent. P-E-R-C-E-N-T. That is correct. Mason, your word is afraid. Afraid. A-F-R-A-I-D. That is correct. Taylor, your word is rescue. Rescue. R-E-S-C-U-E. -E. That is correct. Wesley, your word is hover. Hover. H O V E R. Hover. That is correct. Micah, your word is billow. Can you please do that in a sentence? Sure. Charlotte watched the sails billow in the strong wind. Billow. B I L L O W. That is correct. Deb, your word is posh. Posh. P-O-S-H. That is correct. Round seven. Zane, your word is toga. Toga. T-O-G-A. That is correct. Connor, your word is chives. Can you please use it in a sentence? Sure. Chives add a delicious kick to a baked potato. Chives, C-H-I-V-E-S. That is correct. Okay, Mason, your word is serious. S E R. I S Y. Okay, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is S E R I O U S. Taylor, your word is banners. Banners. B A N N E. R.S. Banners. That is correct. Wesley, your word is record. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The diary of Sam is, is an invaluable record of the Great Fire of London in 1666. Record. R. E-C-O-R-D. Record. That is correct. Micah, your word is wisdom. 
Can you please use it in the sentence? Sure. When facing a difficult choice, it can help to consult the wisdom of family and friends. Wisdom. W I S D O M. That is correct. Deb, your word is drape. Would you use that in the sentence? Sure. Julia decided to drape a blanket over the birdcage to quiet her parrot. Drape. D O R A P E. That is correct. Round eight. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, Zane, your word is countless. Countless. C O U N T L E S S. That is correct. Connor, your word is hideout. Hideout. H I D E O U T. That is correct. Okay, Taylor, your word is ruins. Can you use it as a Sure. The ruins of the castle overlook Loch Ness in Scotland. Ruins. R U I N S. Ruins. That is correct. Wesley, your word is Mexico. Question. Do I need to do a capitalizing? Do you remember the rules? I'm guessing no. Are you ready to spell? Go ahead. Mexico. Capital M-E-X-I-C-O. That is correct. Micah, your word is glazed. Glazed. G L A Z E D. That is correct. Death, your word is scanner. Scanner. S C A N N E R. That is correct. Are we at nine now? Round nine, Zane, your word is oncoming. Oncoming, O-N-C-O-M-I-N-G. That is correct. Connor, your word is flimsy. Can you please use it in the sentence? Sure. The flimsy bookcase barely lasted a week before the shelves collapsed. Flimsy, F. L-I-M-S-Y. That is correct. Taylor, your word is launch. Launch. L-A-U-C-H. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is L-A-U-N-C-H. Wesley, your word is rubble. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. After the tornado, Sean sadly explored the rubble of her home. Rubble. R-U-B-B-L-E. Rubble. That is correct. Micah, your word is tourists. Can you, can you please use that in a sentence? Sure. When the stately home opens for the season, tourists flocked to the view its priceless art collection. Tourists. T O U R U S T. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is T O U R. I S T S. Dev, your word is laughter. Laughter. L A U G H T E R. 
That is correct. We are on to round 10. Zane, your word is strum. May I use it in the sentence? Sure. As the sun rose each morning over the ocean, Eddie would strum his ukulele to greet it. Strum, S-T-R-U-M. That is correct. Connor, your word is meeting. Meeting, M-E-E-T-I-N-G. That is correct. Wesley, your word is helmet. Helmet. H E M E L. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is H E L M E T. Jeff? I'm going to skip the next word. Your word, Deb, is flurry. Could you, wait, never mind. Flurry, F-L-U-R-R-Y. That is correct. Okay. Round 11. Okay, Zane, your word is glisten. Glisten, G-L-I-S-S-N. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is G-L-I-S-T-E-N. Oh, I thought you said it. Okay. Connor, your word is... I'm actually going to skip that one word. Okay, the next word, your word is hybrid. Hybrid, H-Y-B-R-I-D. That is correct. Deb, your word is schedule. Could you use in a sentence? Sure. Each member of the tour group received a detailed schedule for the two-week trip to Italy. Schedule, S-C-H-E-D-U-L-E. -E. That is correct. Okay. We are at round 12. Okay. Yes. Yes. The two, remember, boys, at this time, in order to win, you have to be able to spell two words consecutively back to back when one of you misses a word. Okay? Okay. All right. Deb, would you like to move to the front now? Okay. All right. Connor, your word is splutter. Can you please use it in a sentence? Sure. Caught eating brownies meant for the party, Hope began to splutter out an explanation. Splutter, S-P-L-U-D-D-E-R. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is S-P-L-U-T-T-E-R. Um, Connor, you want to wait because someone has to be able to spell two correctly, okay, because he, he could miss, okay, so you want to wait. All right. Deb, your word is convince. Could you use it in a sentence? Sure. Anne was unable to convince her father that she would receive extra credit for going to Disney World over spring break. Convince? C-O-N-V-I-N-C-E. -E. That is correct. How it, wait, you have to spell another oh, yeah. one correctly. Okay. Your word is grateful. Grateful. G-R-E-A-T-F-U-L. That is incorrect. Oh. Okay. The correct spelling is G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L. Okay. So at this time, we start 
back over to where one of you has to spell two words correctly, okay? So, Connor? So, Connor, your word is gesture. Can you please use it in a sentence? Sure. Geo made a sweeping gesture when his, with his arms as he professed his deep love for pizza. Gesture. G-E-S-T-U-R-E. -E. That is correct. Okay. Dev, your word is formation. 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 F O R T M A T I O N. That is incorrect. It's F O R M A T I O N. Formation. Okay. Connor? Your word is previous. Previous. P R E V I O U S. That is correct. Now you need to spell the next word correct. The word is imposing. Can you please use it in a sentence? Sure. Aunt Elizabeth seemed an imposing figure at first, but really she was a sweetheart. Imposing. I M P O S. I N G. That is correct, and congratulations, Connor. <laughs> you are the Sand Hill Spelling Bee Champion for 2020. That's so awesome. Go yes, you will. Okay. okay, boys, we have something for you. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. We want to celebrate you and take a picture and give you your. Fantastic, guys. So proud of both of you guys. Take a picture, Mr. Okay. Okay. All right. So congratulations, Deb. Good job. Good job. Okay. We're gonna take some pictures. Okay. We're getting Mr. Harris to come up here and get some pictures with the judges as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Spell. No, I can't. Spell. That's me